Gestalt therapy. An experimental, phenomenological, and humanistic type of psychotherapy, Gestalt therapy is a technique that can be used as both short term and long term forms of support. Depending on the client's needs, the severity or complexity of a particular situation. It is also used effectively in a crisis intervention format to help survivors of acute trauma. The expert conducting Gestalt therapy has several tasks, each designed to help the patient get the maximum benefit from the therapeutic process. These goals include creating a safe environment that allows the specialist to identify and explore current thoughts, feelings, and perceptions, engage in open dialogue, help with self-esteem, and treat with the utmost respect and equality. A specialist's essential traits include genuine caring and recognition, warmth, authenticity, and a strong sense of personal responsibility. Rehearsal Technique The rehearsal technique allows the members to rehearse and test something new. Particularly, the members are asked to rehearse aloud so that others can experience the internal thinking process. However, rehearsals are intended to put a process that is generally carried out without awareness into better focus rather than arouse feelings. By trying unusual behavior with someone in the group, exercise increases the willingness to experiment with new things and becomes more spontaneous. Rehearsing behavior aloud in a psychotherapy group with the involvement of other participants allows the members to understand their stereotypes better and use new ideas and ways to solve them effectively. Moreover, it helps to reduce the anxiety that often accompanies first-time activities. Summary of Session Even though the therapy went with one individual, the results were impressive. The client was 29 years old male who worked as a manager in a local company. We scheduled the therapy session due to my client's work schedule. I started by talking with the client, asking about his background, daily life, work, and family. The process started smoothly, and I could track the client's facial expression when talking about the past and body language when describing his everyday life. I tried to make him go into detail about his awareness, as it was vital for me to catch his words and gestures. As it was a one-to-one -one dialogue, it was hard to organize a role play. Rather than that, I conducted the empty chair exercise, where we built an imaginary situation so he would talk to another part of himself while sitting on that chair. At the beginning of the session, I was not sure about the results and the whole process of the therapy as it was a new experience for me. However, when the client got used to the environment, he spoke more in detail. His gestures and facial expression could be it. At the end of the session, we discussed his awareness and the reasons for his anxiety which were mainly connected with the stress at work. After the session, I noticed some points where I could do better when I was reflecting on our work and looking through my notes. The client seemed uncomfortable at some points of the session and was talking about his nightmares, especially after long shifts. For this reason, I could add imagery rehearsal-based art therapy. This method effectively treats monsters and relieves stress. My feelings after the session were positive, and I liked the process. The main thing I noticed is that it is beneficial when treating anxiety and stress and helps patients relieve their thoughts and awareness. If the therapy went in a group, this therapy would not change a lot except an empty chair which would be replaced with a natural person. In addition, with the group session, it would be possible to conduct role plays. Everything you need for studies, essay samples, writing tools, and tips, you can find at studycorgi.com.